The Gauguins return to Orleans, France, and later Paul is enrolled in a French Catholic boarding school, an experience he says he detested, claiming it is where he learned to distrust everything that was contrary to his instincts, and he looked for the first opportunity to leave. He joined the Merchant Marines and began to travel the world again as he did from age three. As a second lieutenant aboard the Lusitano, he travels to Portugal from La Havre, France to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He will spend 13 months at sea as a second lieutenant. In 1867, Gauguin's mother, Aline Maria, dies at age 42. This portrait painted some 27 years later. In her will, she leaves the care of her children to their custodian, wealthy businessman Gustave Arosa. Art collector Arosa influences Gauguin's love of art. This is actually the time when Gauguin picks up his first paintbrush. Arosa's collection includes works by Corot, Delacroix, and Corbet. In 1868, Gauguin joins the Navy and spends a couple years aboard the Jerome Napoleon. He travels the icy, cold, barren coast of Greenland. Much to Gauguin's disappointment, having preferred the tropics. It is said this is when Gauguin took up wood carving, such as this frame here made from walnut. Ironically, the Gauguin family name means walnut grower. In 1871, Gauguin returns to St. Cloud, France to find the town and family residence destroyed by fire during the Franco-Prussian War. He returns near his former guardian in Paris, who secures him a position as a stockbroker's assistant. He meets Danish woman Met Sophie Gad, the eldest of five daughters, governess and tutor to five children of a Danish minister. She teaches them piano and lessons in French, though her native language is Danish. He also meets co-worker and fellow artist Emil Schaffnecker, pictured here with his family and here in a family portrait by Gauguin. Together they study painting and visit the Louvre, where Gauguin begins painting as a hobby, a so-called Sunday painter. The hobby soon becomes a driving force in his life. He is a self-taught artist. In 1873, Paul and Met Gauguin marry.